So Leute, um nice. welcome to this video lesson on Capitulum Tricesimum Quartum, Chapter 34 of Lingua Latina Per Se Lestrada. Titulus Capituli est de Arte Poetica. The title of the chapter is On the Poetic Art. Hic es pictura teatri, picture of the theater. Et hic es skyna, the skyna, the scene, the stage building, actually and kawea, um, the seating. Et hic es orchestra, orchestra, the dancing ground. Mm, pace turgidus, swollen foot. Wonder what's gonna happen here. All right, de arte poetica. Epistula aemilii conviviis recitata. Notice the ablative absolute, epistula and recitata ablative with the letter um, of Aemilius having been read out loud to the um, party guests, convivis. Ergo inquit Aemilia, therefore, Aemilia says, non modo filio sed etiam fratri meo brachium vulneratum est. Not only um, was the arm wounded for my son, but also for my brother. Now, filio and fratri meo are datives of interest or ethical datives. Uh, in English, we would probably just say, not only was my son's arm uh, wounded, but also my brother's arm. And so we would use the apostrophe s possessive. This type of dative, as we see here with filio and fratri, it essentially acts like it's a possessive. Um, so if you want to translate it genitive, you know, with the possessive, that's fine. But it is literally a dative, and this is idiomatically normal in Latin. All right, Fabia then says, Quis nam vulneravit filium tuum? Who wounded your son? Now, the nam on the end of quis makes it a very emphatic question. So it's like, who in the world wounded your son? I can't believe somebody wounded him. And Amelia says, Medicus brachium eus capello suo acuto sequit. The doctor cut his arm with his sharp scalpel. All right. Qui cum quintus heri de alta arbore cecidisset, pede meius turgidum, vix tetigit. He who, and this is referring back to the doctor, when Quintus had fallen, kekidiset is a new pluperfect subjunctive. Note the ISSE, which is distinctive in the pluperfect active subjunctive. When Quintus had fallen from a high tree yesterday, barely touched his swollen foot. Okay, and again, this we're talking about the doctor. Said, miselo purro, sanguinem misit. But he let the poor little boy's blood. And of course, to do bloodletting, this means to cut him open and let it bleed. Now, miset normally means sent or through, something like that. But here uh, is the technical verb for bloodletting in Latin. Profecto, absolutely. Filius meus non opera medici sonabitur. My son will not be cured by the effort of the doctor. Said diis you want the boost, pero, but I hope, I expect, with the gods aiding, diis you want the boost, eum brevi sanum fore, he will be well in a short time. Liberine tui bona valetudne utuntur, are your children enjoying good health? And then Fabia says, sex dus quidim, hodie naso turgido, atque cruinto eludo rediet. Sextus, indeed, today returned um, from school, a ludo, with a swollen nose and bloody, or with a swollen and bloody nose. Cum certa visit, cum quibus damporis, qui eum lacerant. When he had fought with certain boys who had harmed him. Now, of course, here, it's pretty obvious who the other boys were, and that Marcus, in fact, was the one who instigated this whole fight. But Fabia, knowing that Marcus's parents had 
invited her to this fancy dinner does not exactly lay that out. All right, Amelia says, Cum pori ludunt, when boys play, how multum interest inter ludum et certamen. There's not much difference between a game and a contest. Okay, so kertamen is a contest. We have the verb kertawisit up here, which is from kerto, kertare, to have a contest, to struggle, to compete with others. Marcus vero, but Marcus, si quis eum laidere vult, if anyone wants to hurt him, ipse se defendere potest is able to defend himself. So maybe Amelia is kind of throwing that back at Fabia. It's a little bit interesting. She's not coming right out and saying it, but it's almost like she's saying, yeah, well, Marcus beat up your boy too. It's a, it's a bit strange socially what's going on here. All right, Fabia then says, Item sextus skit se defendere. Likewise, Sextus knows how to defend himself. Dum modo e um singulis certet, provided that, or as long as, dum modo, um, notice they translate that, it can also be si modo, if only, he is competing, is contesting with individuals. Nemo surlos, no one alone, e um vincere potest, is able to beat him. Well, that's a little bit of hyperbole. I'm sure somebody could beat Sextus, but I think she just means he's a tough boy. Sed filius meus studiosio rest legindi quam pugnandi. Nice gerunds here in the genitive case. Notice the nd. But my son is more interested, more eager, more enthusiastic, studiosio. Uh, we would probably say in reading than in fighting, but notice these are actually genitives. They're called objective genitives in Latin. A lot of times objective genitives will change the kind of preposition and not say of in English um, where they're going to have the genitive in the Latin. So I'd say uh, my son is more interested in reading than in fighting. Amelia says, Id de Marco dici non potest. That is not able to be said about Marcus. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of an understatement. Is non tam literis studet quam ludis et certaminibus. He is not so eager for literature or eager about letters as about games and contests. Hic Cornelius mulieres interpolat. Here Cornelius interrupts the women. Ego quoque ludis et certaminibus studeo. I also am eager uh, for or interested in games and contests. Dum modo alios carnante spectem. As long as, provided that, there's that new conjunction, if only, I am watching others doing the struggling or the fighting or the contesting. Modo in amphiteatro. Just now in the amphitheater. Cartamen magnificum spectavi. I watched a magnificent contest. Plus tre cente gladiatores certabant. More than 300 gladiators were fighting, were contesting. Plarique gladiis et scutis armati erant. The majority, many of them, very many of them, were armed, or had been armed rather, with swords and with shields. Alei, others, retia gerebant were wielding nets. Now we can see a rete in the margin. Retia is the neuter I stem plural of that. And of course this is a net. Um, the name for a net gladiator who uses a net and a trident to fight is a retiarius, a net man. All right. Emilia quae certamen gladiatorum non spectavit Amelia, who did not watch the gladiatorial contest, a ah, Cornelio Quirit, um, asks of Cornelius, Comoro gladiatores retibus certent? How do gladiators um, contest or struggle, compete, we could say, with nets? She doesn't understand how the net's going to be used in the arena. 
Cornelia says, Alter alterum in rete implicare conator. One of them tries to um, entwine the other in the net, so sort of get him caught up in it. Nam qui recti implicitus es, for the one who is um, caught in the net, non potesse defendere, is not able to defend himself, et sine mora interficitur, and without delay is killed. Okay, so again, the net man would have a big trident to use from a distance, and then they would also have a like a daggerish or short sword kind of thing for stabbing up close, perhaps. All right, nisitam um, fortiter pugnavit ut spectatores eum vivere velint, unless he has fought so bravely that. Okay, so the tom is going to indicate we've got a result clause coming, that the spectators want him to live. Si plarumque is victus est occidit, is qui victus est occiditur, victor vero palma macipit. But mostly the one who is conquered is killed, occiditur. Now I want to note the difference between Okiditor, sorry, okiditor here with a long eye versus okiditor with a short eye. Yeah. So okiditor. Um, all of the kido verb forms come from kaido. Kaido, kaidere, to hit or kick or slash or something like that. You get okido, um, you get akido, and they have to do with cutting into or striking at somebody. Okido is to strike somebody down and kill them. Um, now the op the opposing word, okido, is coming from kado kadre. Remember, kado kadre means to fall. So if we had okidit, it would be falls or sets. That is, goes down, like sol okidit, the sun setting. But okidit, with the long i as here, is the verb for cutting down or striking down, thus killing. Okay, so for, but generally the one who is conquered is killed, okiditor, is stricken down, but the victor receives the palm, and here we mean a palm frond, which you can see in this little ancient world graffiti over here. Um, dum spectatores delectati clamant, while the delighted spectators shout, Ac manibus plaudunt, and they applaud with their hands. All right, here in the picture we can see circus. Circus, uh, of course, is related to circle, and it's a circuit course. It's more of an oval shape going round and round this internal divider here. And four horse chariots were very common, but there were other types as well. And there could be as many as 12 different chariots on the race course at once. Um, that is to say, there were four normal teams, the reds, the greens, the blues, and the whites. And each of those teams could have up to three chariots in the race. So that maybe one chariot is trying to go fastest and win, and the others are trying to take the competitors out of the competition by crashing them or whatever, slowing them down maybe. All right, Julia says, Mihi non levet spectare ludos istos feroces. It is not uh, pleasing for me to watch those kind of fierce games. Malo cursus ecorum spectare in circo. I prefer to watch the races of horses, or the courses of horses, running of horses. I would say races here in this context. I prefer to watch the races of horses in the circus. Now they could do regular horse races, but most of the races were chariot races, as, as we see in the picture. Cornelius then says, Ludi circenses me non minus juant quam gladiatorii. Circus games do not please me less than gladiatorial ones. Modo in amphitheatro, in amphitheatrum, modo in circum eo. Uh, now I go to the amphitheater, now to the circus. So sometimes I go to the amphitheater, sometimes to the circus. 
sed ex novi visimis kerkintibus maestus abii, but I went away from the most recent circus games, sad, gloomy, maestus. You might even say in mourning. Cum ille auriga, cui plerique spectatores favebant, ex curru lapsus, equis pro carintibus ocisus eset. Notice we get the long eye here. So this is the killed one. Um, when that charioteer, auriga, whom very many spectators were supporting or favoring, Having slipped from his chariot, Lapsus ex curu, was killed, or rather, had been killed, by the horses running forward. Okay, so he fell out of the chariot and the horses coming from behind ran right over him. Ilo okiso, with that one slain, that's an ablative absolute, spectatores plaudere desierunt. The spectators desisted from clapping. They stopped clapping. Ac lugere coiperunt. And they began to grieve. Now, really, ancient chariot racing was crazy dangerous. And people died quite frequently or got really badly hurt quite frequently. So this is not a strange thing here. Um, but, of course, if it is a favorite, then people, many people could be very depressed over it. Fabia then says, Ego ludos gynicos prefero. I prefer um, stage games. We might translate it. What this means is plays, okay? So ludi, games, sport. This, this word ludus can mean a bunch of different stuff, but in the plural it means sort of public performances. So I prefer stage performances, we might say. In other words, plays. Malo fabula spectare in teatro. I prefer to um, watch. And then fabulous normally means stories, but here it means specifically the stories that you get in plays. So stories or plays in the theater. Nu per spectawe camoidiam plauti de amphitrioni. I recently watched the comedy of Plautus about Amphitryon, Duque Graecorum, leader of the Greeks. Cuius uxor alcmena, Ab ipso Jove amabatur, whose wife Alcmena was loved by Jupiter. Dum dux ille acer et fortis procula domu bello gerit, while that fierce and um, brave leader was waging war far away from home, procula domu, Jupiter se informum eius mutavit. Jupiter changed himself, mutavit se, into his shape, ut alcmenam viserit, in order that he might visit Alcmini. <laughs> Quae cum putaret conjugem suum esse eium in cubiculum recipit, who, since she thought that it was her husband, received him into her bedroom. Aha! And this is the story of how Hercules gets born. Um, he pretends to be Alcmene's husband, sneaks in and spends the night with her, and in fact he enjoys it so much according to the myth that in some versions he doubles the night, makes it twice as long, and in others he triples the night and makes it three times as long. But the point is he, he really enjoyed himself that night. All right, Cornelius. Et decimo post mense, and in the tenth month thereafter, filios geminos peperit, she bore twin sons, Quorum alter fuit Hercules, one of whom was Hercules. Now the other son is Iphicles, and he was a mortal son. His father was Amphitryon, the, the mortal husband of Alcmene. And Hercules' father was, of course, Jupiter or Zeus, um, who had visited Alcmene, uh, pretending to be him. Right. Ila fabula omnibus nota est. That story is known to everyone. Sed scitis ne cur feminis lebeat in teatrum ire? But do you know why it is permitted, or sorry, why it's pleasing for women to go to the theater? Ovidius poeta, the poet Ovid, 
qui ingenium mulierum tam bene noerat quam ipsae mulieres, <laughs> who knew the nature of women just as well as the women themselves. Well, that's kind of funny. That's why I was laughing. Uh, rationem redit um, gives us the reason, or renders the reason, hoc versu in this verse. Spectatum veniunt, they come to watch. Veniunt spectentorot ipsi, they come in order that they themselves be watched. Spectentor. Now, this is poetry in prose. The ut ipsi would go in front of spectentor. That would be the normal word order. Um, but in poetry, in order to get different rhythms, a lot of times they'll change the word order. So, again, it would be like veniunt ut ipsi spectentor if it were normal prose. Okay, and then Fabia says, Et viri veniunt ut belas femina spectent. And the men come in order that they might watch the beautiful women. So the point that the poet Ovid was making is that women go to the games um, and to the plays and so on. They go to these performances to watch, yes, but they also come to be watched. And then Fabia is like, okay, you're, you're trying to make the women sound like they're all about, you know, men watching them, right? Like they're somehow trying to sell themselves. But she turns around and says, uh, and the men come to watch the pretty women. And so the men are just as cheap there too. Anyhow, they're just kind of trading some like um, jibes back and forth. Okay, so that gets us down to the end of section one. We'll start with section two in our next video lesson. I hope you learned a few things here. Wallet omnes.